Hey guys, if you have a weed eater like this, the Troy Built TD685EC with jump start, and you have to change the primer bulb or the gas lines, I'm going to explain how. Stick around. We'll be right back. Okay guys, this is just an explanation of how to change the gas lines or the primer bulb on the Troy Built TB685EC. I have this particular model and I paid $179 for it and it only lasted one season because something was wrong with it and I had to change the gas lines. It doesn't have a choke so it's a real pain in the butt. So let me um, show you what I mean. This is the model number. You see there's the item, model, serial number. Okay, just in case you want to know which one I'm talking about. <laughs> and this is the cover. You see there's two gas lines on this particular cover. The TB685 has three going to an external primer bulb. If you look at the primer bulb, it has a it has three posts, I mean three tubes sticking out of the back of it. One is actually marked in. Now I want you to get a good look at that. I can't really see that picture. I think it has two gas lines. It might have three. This is the gas tank. You see it has two gas lines coming out. This is the suction side. This is the return side. This one has the filter on it. This one does not. Okay. Go to the next step. Here's the diagram. I tried to print this out, but I'm out of ink. So I wanted to show you. I don't know if you can see that or not. This is supposed to be the primer bulb. This is this has an N on it. That's for N. It goes from here to here. This is where it sucks the gas from the gas tank through that to the primer bulb. Um, this is the gas tank. This is the side that's filtered. It goes into the top of the carburetor, which which is well, it's the bottom of the carburetor. Actually, the carburetor is supposed to be turned like that, so it's the side of the carburetor. Okay, it's the side with the cover on it. It's sticking straight out. It goes to the filtered side of the gas tank. The return side goes to the um, primer bulb, and it hooks up on the back side of the primer bulb. You have these two next to each other, and this one's all separate. That's the return. Okay, and this is the end. The end is the curb part next to the filtered part as you can see right there and then it leaves there and it goes to the primer bulb and it hooks up like I said on in it'll say in right there on that little flat piece it'll say in right there and I mean I in not just in <laughs> um, anyway this is the return it goes to that one this, I have no damn idea what it does. It seems to be blocked off, but I don't think it is. It goes to that one. And I'm just going to call it pump. So it's P. And you see right there, it's beside the throttle on the carburetor. It sticks out. Like I said, this is supposed to be turned like that. And that's sticking out the top. So that goes there. Now this is the diagram. I'm going to zoom out so you can... You can pause it, you can uh, print screen it, and you can print it out for yourself. I added the color to it because I got this from Troy Built. Nobody, even the service centers for Troy Built, could tell me where the gas lines went. And I searched all over the web and couldn't find it. So I finally went online, did a chat with Troy Built, and they said, we'll send you an email with the diagram, and this is what they sent me. And I added in the color. <laughs> 
but that's the primer bulb and you can see it has three lines service center had no clue what I was talking about they didn't know they had a three line one but there yeah, you see it anyway return goes into the primer bulb there filter comes out goes into the bottom of the carburetor the side actually this would be like that um, you know I can rotate it there you go so now you see this is the way the carburetor would hook to the weed eater like straight on this is the where the air filter would be so that's the bottom that would go to the end inlet on the primer bulb the side comes out and goes um, into the tank see right there that's where it runs into the tank it has the filter on it this is the return goes into the primer bulb on the back side so once again take the opportunity to pause print screen and fix your weed eater uh, again this is for a Troy Belt TB 685 EC it looks like this you see the nameplate right there and there's the primer bulb so if you have this weed eater and you need to change the primer bulb or if you need to change the gas lines and you don't mark them or take a picture of them before you do this is how you put them back on I hope this helps um, does it sure help me once again that's the diagram and if the, you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe you have a great day.